Hey guys, welcome to Ara Ara, the Wee Podcast channel. Today we will be doing a cosplay review of Your Forger from Spy Family. This will be a two part video since I've ordered both of her dresses, the black one and her red sweater version. But for today's video, we will be focusing on her black dress. It's not gonna be an unboxing since I was too excited to open the package as soon as I got it and I immediately tried it on. <laughs> So yeah, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also do check out our socials at Ara Ara Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And also I do video game streamings from time to time. I'm currently playing Elden Ring on Facebook, so do check that out as well. I ordered my costume from AliExpress and I will put the link in the description box. It it took me a long time to decide from which store to order just because it's my first time ordering online so I'm not sure how the quality will be or how the sizing will be. So I followed the seller's size guide and apparently I'm large so that's what I ordered. And if in case you guys don't know which size to get, you can just chat with the seller or just easily follow what is in their available size guide. So yeah. For reference, I got the six-piece set which includes the wig, it has the headpiece, earrings, leather socks, gloves, and of course the dress as well. The good thing about it is that it arrived after two weeks of ordering it and they also gave me three stickers. It came with this and also this. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. So what's included in the package? First off, we have the weapon. So we have your forger's weapon here. I think this is 3D printed. And the paint doesn't come off easily, which is good. I don't think they used spray paint on this one. So yeah, that's the weapon. Next off, we have the headpiece. So as you can see, we have the metal headband here that has Velcro on each side. So this is how you will put the flowers on the side. As for the flowers, I feel like it looks too plasticky and it actually got squished in the shipping. So we will have to fix that. And what I like about this though is they used metal on this part of the design because in the anime it's supposed to be like this i feel like this is more accurate compared to some of the other your forger cosplays that i've seen online wherein they're using fabric on this part which makes this part look flimsy so yeah i feel like this is nice i'll put this here Next, we have the gloves. So I'm not sure what kind of fabric they use on this one, but it is stretchy when worn. And at the same time, it's shiny, but on the inside, it's matte. So yeah, that's how it looks like when worn. And we have the stockings, which definitely they use the same fabric as the gloves. Again, it's shiny, it's garterized, and you can easily fit your thighs and your legs inside. This part is garterized, the part that will sit on top of your thighs. And guys, as I have mentioned earlier, um, I've already tried on the costume. And honestly, this garter doesn't really do much to hold it in place. So just take note of that. Then we have the earrings. 
it's not a clip-on type so yeah this is how it looks like And it's not too heavy when worn, guys. Since I've worn this like two times. But the only downside is that it started oxidizing. This part started oxidizing after I've worn it, you know, twice. So just keep that in mind. Then we have the wig. As usual, it came with this paper packaging. Keep it to keep the shape of it. So later on, guys, I will show you how it looks like on my mannequin when worn. So this is a pre-styled wig that came with the costume. I feel like the strands are a bit thin and there's a lot of falling off strands when you comb it, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm just not too happy with that. And also this part is somehow a bit thin for my liking. Last but not the least, we have the costume itself. So this is the leather part for the neck. You have the gold rose design here. So they used leather, obviously, on this part. And this is the inner lining that has the gold pattern. So you have your zipper here on the side. And then they use the same fabric here as the lining. So yeah, I'll show you guys how the complete set looks like on my mannequin. So this is how the wig looks like. Obviously the bangs isn't trimmed yet and it needs to be styled. And I feel like this part, this is a bit thin compared to other wigs I've seen of your forger and it's this part is also not too thick I think it's just right it just needs to be styled so for the back side I've worn the wig I think twice one was a trial when it arrived and then second is for a mini photo shoot that I've had so that's why it kind of looks like that now then this is the velcro part so that you can close this leather thingy and this part is where you can tighten the dress i just feel like this part is this the ribbon that they've used is a bit too thin maybe it can be changed to a thicker one or maybe just create your own ribbon to tighten this part also this is how the headdress looks like when worn again I haven't fixed the flowers on the sides yet but yeah that's how it looks like so this is how the costume looks like when worn for reference I am 159 centimeters tall and I weigh 58 kg as of the moment yeah so first off, we have the earrings here, and then we have the leather part. I feel like this part is a bit too short for me. If I ordered XL, I feel like it's gonna be too big. And this part is also not comfortable for my chest. What else? So this part, um, originally it was until here but i had it cut until here and i feel like it was cut a bit shorter than i like <laughs> so yeah i'll be wearing shorts under this anyway so yeah. this part was also cut by four centimeters 
So just imagine how long it looked like originally. The thigh highs, they keep on slipping once you move around. So yeah. Now for the back side, I really like how they put this adjustable thingy to make it fit perfectly. But yeah, as I've mentioned earlier, I feel like the ribbon is a bit too thin. So that one you gotta adjust. So yeah, what do you guys think? And now for the verdict. Comfort wise, you guys can easily wear this in a convention. The fabric is a bit thick, but it's also manageable. And mine was altered to be short, that's why it looked like that. And also just please take note that it didn't fit me on the chest area. As a reference, my chest size is like 92 centimeters. Quality wise, the leather socks didn't fit well. And it keeps on sliding down after a few minutes of wearing it. I think it's a common problem with wearing thigh high socks anyway, or you know, anything that has that kind of design. Also, the headdress isn't too sturdy after wearing it once, the Velcro fell off. So just glue it securely guys before wearing it. By the way, you can also purchase the pieces separately for the wig since it's pre-styled. I don't have much to say about it. It's just that the hair on the side of her face, it's a little bit thin. But overall, the costume, I would say I'd give it a 4 out of 5. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Do follow us on our socials at Ara Ara Podcast for more anime-related content on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Do subscribe on our YouTube channel as well. And last but not the least, thank you again guys for watching today's video and check out my upcoming video of your forger's red sweater dress. So that's gonna be an unboxing plus a cosplay review. Let me know if you guys have any more costumes that you want me to review. So yeah, thank you again and see you on the next video. Bye! Uh, uh, uh.